Hello, my name is Tina Olson. I'm the Treatment Director for Crisis Services through Horizon Homes. I'm here to talk to you about different levels of services available for children when they are struggling with their mental health, particularly what steps parents can take to ensure the safety and well-being of their children and help get them connected to the services that best meet the needs and symptoms that they're experiencing. With mental health, really being able to have that conversation with your child about what they're struggling with, what their current symptoms are, so that you know what's going on and you're able to assess what is that level of safety and how quickly do you need to get services set up. If there is an immediate safety need, if your kiddo identifies that they're having thoughts of wanting to harm themselves or harm others and they have a specific plan, having them go to the emergency department um, in those situations is best just to make sure that everybody is safe. If your child is not experiencing thoughts to that level and they're struggling with their depression or their anxiety or they're just feeling off, looking at some of those other levels of service can also be effective. If it's just talking to somebody at school, a school social worker, a coach, a teacher that they trust, just having those conversations and being comfortable expressing how they're feeling and what they need is a really good start to figuring out what other steps are needed to ensure their safety and well-being. If it's more than just having a casual conversation with somebody, scheduling an appointment with a therapist is that next step. That's always a good option. Bringing in somebody neutral to help walk through those emotions and those feelings and those life changes can be very beneficial in times of need. If you truly don't know what to direction to go or you're really struggling with having those conversations with your child, you can always reach out to our mobile crisis team. We can do an assessment and work with you and your child about what does that level of need require, what are the services that are available, help point you in the right direction, just to ensure that you guys have all of the support and the services that are available. Some symptoms to look for when talking with your children about what they're experiencing with their mental health can include changes in appetite, changes in sleep, increased irritability, which sometimes is difficult when working with, with teenagers, is being able to pick out when is that a quote unquote normal teenager behavior versus when is it concerning. Changes in pattern of their behaviors. So if you have a kiddo who's normally very outgoing and now you notice that they're staying home a lot or they're not hanging out with their friends as much, those patterns are really important with kids because they are a very good first indicator of when something is is causing them distress. One of the best things to try and do is have these conversations starting early really being able to work with your children about being able to identify their mood, being able to identify how they're feeling, having a very direct conversation. The more direct, the better, because it's going to give you those pieces that you really need to make sure that you're able to support your children when needed. Setting the table where they're able to come to you and have those conversations when something isn't going right or is concerning is probably the best way to do that. If you know your, your child's a little bit older, have that conversation with them and be able to say, okay, I noticed something's off. How can I help you? You definitely don't want it to feel like an interrogation. Allow the kiddo to talk about whatever it is that they need to talk about and not having a reaction to what they're saying, just letting them talk and then providing them the support that they need. Thank you so much for watching our four-part series. If you have additional questions, please feel free to call the Mobile Crisis Team. We are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Our phone number is 877-399-3040. Thank you for your time.